up, everybody. I'm about ready to show you, if you didn't figure out what it was, what's new for 2016. Bam. 2015 Polaris Razor 1000 Stealth Black. The 1K, man. Non turboed. I didn't feel I needed the turbo because I'm almost too big of a pussy to put my foot in a 1K all the way anyways, a stock 1K. <laughs> so special about this one, it's mine. A little dirty, a little dirty. Been sat in the showroom for a while. Brand new, guys. I pulled this machine off the truck. I built this machine. Oh, it's probably been six months ago, and it sat up there in the showroom and didn't sell. And then the killer holiday sales event made this thing priceable for me. Still was way too much money, but I like it. I would rather have an orange one. But, just to prove, it was warmed up. And then it's got 12.8 volts. 0.8 hours. Service hours left. Two miles on this machine. 2.2 miles to be exact. And all them miles were put on by me. So yeah, still got the little plastic things in there, the savers, for when I assembled it. Guys, this thing is, well, just badass to me. I'm done working on junk shit, I think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I always have a project car, something older, but I've learned if you get them without being molested, they tend to be a lot more fun to modify and make it your own. So I've already ordered some stuff for it. Uh, windshield, poly, uh, poly roof, and a poly roof panel. I'm not going to cab this system, put a heater in it yet anyways. This will be mostly a summer ride. I mean, yeah, it's fun to drive in the winter because I just drove it around in the snow a little bit. It's cold as hell without a window, without a windshield. Bought full. Uh, Polaris full aluminum doors and uh, yeah I think it'll be pretty cool I decided to go with the Polaris full doors just because it is a Polaris machine and they know the specs of their machine and most Polaris accessories fit good and I like the way their doors were built compared to some other ones I could have went the the poly inserts but I wanted a full aluminum door there's nothing really wrong with these doors, except the front tires just rudder everything in there. And it'll feel a little more secure. I even got the graphic package for the aluminum doors to bring the factory graphic back up. Unneeded, but you know, it just looks good. It's running the uh, Maxxis Bighorns. Good tire, love these tires. They're a radial, which you almost have to be. They're the 29 14s. Oh, well, 29, 11s, 14s. I don't know if I'm going to keep the big horns on it full time. I'm going to end up getting a spare tire rack. And I don't know if I want to put an 11 spare. Or what's the front? Side? 10 or a 9? I can't remember what the fronts are. Fronts are a 9. I thought about uh, getting a set of Pro Armor and just doing 10s all the way around. And then doing a 10 for the spare. But I thought about doing an 11. Because you can run an 11 up front. 11 inch wide tire without having very much uh, rubbing problems. As you guys can see. You might have a little bit of fitment issue but it shouldn't. And that would just be a temporary. If it was a spare tire it wouldn't be driving me everywhere. It would just be a spare to get me back to base. <laughs> So yeah, why I chose the 1000 over a 900 or an 800, we have two 800 holdovers, uh, I had an option between them and they were substantially less money, 
But they were never comfortable for me to get in because I'm not a small guy. I'm six two, and got big, big work boots. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that just wasn't uh, easy for me to get in and out. My knees always hit the steering wheel. Had to bring it up, and I can comfortably get in and out of this machine. Not a problem with the leg room, and I like the leg room in this a lot more leg room than an 800. And to me, they're just not as torquey anymore. I mean, yeah, they were fun when they first came out. 900s, they were a little better. They had a little bit more foot room, a little bit more uh, leg room, I should say. And uh, they were a little more powerful. The 1K has better suspension. Much better suspension than the 900, I think. Much better styling. I think these things just look mean as hell. Especially in stealth black. I like stealth black. This is the only other color I would have chose besides orange, just because I like the black. Stealth black looks good. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is new for uh, 2016. Brand new to me, guys. This is this is the first new machine out of anything, out of cars, everything. This is the first brand new machine I bought. Sad to say it, I paid more for this than I did my Impala. But hey, I got a good deal. Good, uh, good. I financed it, of course, because I don't have uh, eighteen thousand dollars just laying around to uh, spend on a razor. So I financed it for Polaris, of course. They got me a good interest rate and good uh, term. I'm paying a pretty good amount a month, but you know it's pretty good and not worse than anything else. You got to pay to play, and I figured you can't buy a brand new old Chevy jacked up pickup, so. This will be the next best thing. And where I live, you can actually license these machines and drive them around town. So, hell yes. Sign me up. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. I'll go back here and pan out a little bit. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm going to get me a tripod. So, I'd like to do some installation videos of some Ashmark accessories. And I'll do build vlogs, of course, on it when I do different stuff to it. So, we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Hope you got something exciting to work on too. Catch you later.